We're in Microsoft Word 2019. I'm going to show you the new 3D modeling option, which is a very cool new feature. Let's go ahead and click on Insert and choose 3D Models. Now, if you hit the drop down, you've got a couple of options. You can pull in one from a file or just go to uh, from online sources. Online sources comes with a whole bunch of great stock ones here, and you can choose any one of these that you'd like. Lots of different options. So let's just go ahead and choose the dinosaurs. And we've got a lot of different dinosaur options here. Let's go ahead and choose our T-Rex and choose Insert. And it's going to insert. Now, depending on the type of processor you have and video card, this may take uh, longer or shorter. So we see this new tab show up says Format. And there's lots of different options that we'll take a look at under this format. But let's go ahead and start by making the dinosaur bigger simply by dragging it just like you would traditionally. And now we have this terrifying view of our T-Rex. Now, the next thing we can do is we can start spinning this thing around. But let's first, let's go ahead and move it over a little bit. There we go. And now you see the center section here. So now we can click on it and we can drag it. And look at that. We can now move our dinosaur in three dimensions. Pretty cool. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller just to make it uh, easier to drag it. There we go. And now we can spin this guy around. And when we get it into the angle that we want, the most ferocious angle, there we go, we can just go ahead and stop right there. All right, so when we highlight the dinosaur, then when we go back to where it says Format, it pops up. When you click away, the Format tab goes away. So if you want to get the Format tab back, just click on the, uh, you know, the, the 3D model. Now, if we want, we can change the 3D model simply by going up to these views, and it gives us various different views of our T-Rex. So if we decide we didn't want that one that we chose before, we can choose a different one. We can also reset the 3D model back to where it just was. We can choose to reset the model and the size. So now it goes back to the tiny view that we had before. So instead of dragging it to make it bigger, we can also go specifically to a height that we want. So if we want it to be a specific height, then we can just start going to that or just type in whatever height we want. We can also go and we can change the width as well. So if we want to make it wider, then, whoops, there we go, go back to our review tab, then we can go ahead and do the same kind of thing, or we can just go ahead and type in the width we want exactly and hit, hit enter. There we go. Very good. All right, so some other things that we can do is we can put in uh, the alt text pane and create text description of objects uh, for screen readers. So those are uh, for people who uh, need that kind of a thing because of vision issues. We can change the position by hitting the drop down, and we can move around by choosing this, or we can just drag it to the new location, whatever we want to do. Uh, we can choose to bring forward or send backwards, so we can have text either in front of it or behind it. And we can go over here to where it says 3D Models, and we can add additional things that we want as well. So let's say we want to have another dinosaur along with our T-Rex. We'll go ahead and insert. And it'll go ahead and insert the other dinosaur that we just added. And we can change that view or do anything that we just like we did previously. So this guy's running away from our T-Rex instead of fighting. Live to find another day. So I've gone ahead and saved a file. I'm going to cancel saving this one. I've saved a file on my desktop where I've inserted a dinosaur previously. And what's cool about this is even after you save it, you can go back in and you can still have that 3D model capability. So it's not just while you're creating it, but it's even after you save it and reopen it. Of course, you've got to have the proper version of Word 2019 if you're sending this file to somebody else so that they can also look at the 3D model. So that's how you use the 3D models in the new Word 2019.